guys what is going on welcome back to the channel and today we're doing something really special to the f-350 and it's something that i've been waiting probably since day one and i'm sure some of you guys have been really excited about this as well and it's been a long time coming and i think it's time so let me show you and that is of course the five inch straight pipe no muffler no cats no nothing look at this beast now the downpipe is a 4 inch because the 5 inch will not fit behind the engine and the firewall but the rest of the pipe is a 5 inch pipe. Now this is a AFE exhaust and I've been working really closely with a 1023 diesel up in Alaska. I got their contact down below if you, go, if you guys want to work with uh, Dusty, he's the owner of the company there. He does like all the tune stuff and the Hydra tune. I actually want to get a Hydra as well from them. And then along with other parts down the road. Now Dusty over there at 1023, he knows his stuff. He can hook you up with whatever you need for any uh, diesel truck that you have. Uh, I just got to contact them, let, me, let him know what you have. They have a website, 1023diesel.com. They have Instagram as well, 1023diesel. Like I said, I'll put all their contact and info down in the description so you guys can, so you guys can go check, check it out, see what they have. Contact them if you need anything. And he does uh, like special tunes and custom tunes and all that stuff. So yeah, that's gonna be something later on that I'll be dealing with, uh, with Dusty. Uh, but for now, we're just gonna do this exhaust, install that in the truck and see what she really sounds like. So on these trucks, the hardest thing to do is actually to remove the, the clamp right over there and the bolt the way the bolt is sitting it's kind of behind there and it's pointing up so get in there might be a little tricky but I'm sure I can get to it uh, we can get that off uh, and then uh, the hardest part will be removing that which I'll probably end up cutting now let me show you why now the stock pipe comes down from the top there goes down here and then you got this cross member that goes all the way across and the pipe goes just kind of further in I don't know why they didn't make a clamp like right here so it'd be easier to remove it but in order to remove this without cutting it I would have to remove the cross member but I don't really want to do that I'm probably just gonna go ahead and uh, get that cut somewhere over here if I ever need to reinstall it, I'm just gonna go ahead and tack weld it for whatever reason, I don't know. And then there's a clamp right here. And then we got another clamp right there. And I think there's nothing else over there. So I'm gonna have to probably cut somewhere by the axle so I can get that out as well. Yeah, I sprayed some WD-40 in there to make it easier and one over here and one over there and I'm gonna see if I can get them popped off and on these usually there's either a hole or a really skinny like rubber on the side that you can puncture and then I don't have a remover for these but if you use a screwdriver spray some WD-40 in here and then use a screwdriver and just kind of try to pry it off let me see if I can spray some more WD-40 in here we're good there we go I'm gonna have to deal with this one after I actually loosened the 
the downpipe. I think this one might be easier to remove. So we'll do this one and then we'll, we'll get to the downpipe and then we'll deal with these in a bit. Yeah, this was pretty easy. Okay, so it's nice and free. So now let's get the downpipe. Now this guy here is gonna be a bit tricky to get to maybe. Let's see. Yeah, I'm gonna have to put the, I don't know why they put it so inconveniently in there, but I think we, I think that might work if we put the socket on there. And then we put this guy on there. There you go, okay. Need to switch this guy. Okay. Oh, there you go. Okay. Not too bad. Okay. I'm gonna see if I can loosen as much as I can, and then try to break the clamp so it's not holding the downpipe in place. I might have to wiggle the downpipe. Uh, we'll, we'll see. Let's see if I can do it by hand. Nope, not going by hand. But let's see if we can uh, get the downpipe kind of. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna separate. Let me see if I can wiggle the downpipe, if that's gonna help. All right, there you go. You just gotta give it a good, good wiggle, and that will, should break it loose. Come on, buddy. Spin and wiggle. Are we, are we too tight on there now? Go to the little saggy waggy. There we go. Now let's see if I can hold it from the back. Well, I think this should be loose enough. Just, oh, there you go. Okay the downpipe now. Yeah, there you go. Cool. Cool dudes. Now we're going to leave this over here and now we're going to deal with the downpipe below. There's no way we're going to be able to remove this because like I said, this thing's in the way and there's no way to twist it any way to get that removed. Yeah, it's not gonna happen. What I should have done is actually cut this pipe uh, before disconnecting from the turbo and from the pipe right here. Uh, that way, when I'm cutting, it's not flopping everywhere. So that's one good point um, to keep in mind. I'm gonna try my chain cutting tool, see if that's gonna work. It's just out of curiosity. Let's go ahead and remove this section, other section right here, and then deal with the muffler.
All right, guys. So now the hardest part is done, and that was a that was a doozy. So let me show you. All right. So here is the whole section that I removed. Now, if you noticed, I didn't have a spare tire installed underneath the truck, and that's what kind of made it easier. So if you can, if you don't want to cut your uh, muffler pipe section, just remove the spare tire, and it's doable. It can be uh, pulled out, but it is it is a pain in the butt. So if you if you don't want to save your exhaust and just chop it up throw it away now for my down pipe uh, I cut it right here and I drew a couple scratches on, on the pipe so I know exactly how it's gonna go if I decide to uh, tech weld it in I don't think I'm gonna need to but just in case just in case guys there's always that just in case especially in California who knows it's, it's gonna be a whole bunch of weird stuff going on all right, so now we're gonna take the downpipe and we're gonna try to get that up there and try to align it over here with the turbo at the same time. Look at this beast. Look at this fatty, fatty. Okay, here we go. the pipe let's get up there are you really gonna give me a hard time I'm wondering if the manual transmission is different and that's why I'm having a hard time but it should just get up there come on buddy there we go so you gotta pretty much twist and rotate, get it up there and then get it as high as you can and then rotate and we should be good, right? Or no? Are we good or not? There we go. All right, you get it as up, get it up there as high as you can. And then from here on, from this angle, get it up as high as you can, then rotate and uh, we're good. We're good, baby. All right, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put on all the pipes all the way to the end. That way, it's gonna hold it in place. And then we're gonna deal with the clamp on top. So we got this guy. Now section number number three. All right, we got this guy. And then this part is going to be the extension section because it's a long bed uh, crew, ca uh, crew cab. And so I need that extension piece that comes here and then you have the muffler pipe, the muffler delete pipe right here. And then the rest of it will go over. Here's what we have so far. I got the tip installed, looking really nice. I'm gonna have to trim the pipe later on after I figure out exactly how I'm gonna uh, place the tip and exactly how the exhaust is gonna align. Now I'm gonna go all the way from the front and uh, start dealing with the downpipe again and bolt that up. 
to the turbo and then we're gonna start aligning all the pipes. Uh, basically, uh, one thing I noticed is uh, when I was putting the exhaust on, I was shoving the exhaust pipe into the other pipe as far as I could, uh, which is, you kinda wanna do it about maybe halfway, maybe a little more. Because when I got to the end, it was kind of, uh, I didn't have enough room to work with there, so I had to come back here and separate all of them uh, about halfway out, not all the way in. So it wasn't hitting anything in the back. And now that everything's lined up, well not lined up, but everything's in place, uh, now I can uh, go ahead and do the downpipe and then start aligning everything else. All right guys, now let's see what we got. Now that I got the downpipe connected to the other pipes and all the, everything else is hanging on the hangers down below, it seems like it's lining up the pipe pretty well as it is without really trying to uh, do anything below. So uh, basically all I do is just move it up just a little bit and it's now in place. So let me see if I can have like a stick pushing against here. That way it's perfectly aligned and I'm gonna be able to put the clamp on and make sure everything's good and then start tightening it up. Uh, I'm not gonna tighten up fully, just a bit and make sure everything's good below, nothing is touching, nothing is gonna, nothing's gonna be banging against anything. So I got this little stick right here. I'm just gonna push this up, make sure it's nice and good. And I'm just gonna put the stick right here in there somewhere. We just need a little bit to support it. And then the clamp can go on. There we go. All right, now it's nice and flush. And I went ahead and separated the clamp right here. Uh, this little bolt that basically just goes over and hooks over. All right, so I'm gonna go and start pretty much going over and making sure I'm going over all the grooves down below. I think we're good actually. That was pretty easy. So now we're gonna go ahead and hook it right here. So yeah, it spins now, it's nice and good. And now I'm gonna actually leave the bolt like this. That way when I tighten it, it's gonna be easier to remove next time. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and tighten this just a bit and then see what we have below. Because now in this angle, I can just use a power tool. There we go. All right, for now it's nice and tight, nice and snug. I can remove this stick now. And before I tighten this completely, let me check down below, make sure there's nothing is hitting, and then I'm gonna tighten this, and then we're gonna go down and proceed all the way to the tail. All right, so I had to do a little bit of adjustment down below. I'll show you guys that in a minute, but now everything is nice and secure, nice and tight. Uh, there's gaps on all sides, so now I'm gonna go ahead, tighten this, and then we're gonna go down below the truck and I'll show you what I had to do there and the best way to get the best fitment. All right, let's finish this up real quick. Now it's so much easier to work here. And if I need to remove this clamp again, it'll be a lot easier to do so. Now this clamp doesn't, be, doesn't have to be super crazy tight because it's a V-clamp, 
So the way it kind of holds it together, it pushes on the sides, not by, you know, over tighten it. So that should be good to go. Now let's go see what we have at the bottom. So down here below at the bottom of the downpipe, I had to use wooden spacers between the engine, kind of like a starter housing right here, and between the frame bracket. I think that's a leaf spring bracket. So yeah, I had to use a couple spacers here to make it uh, fit pretty much the best possible. That way when I tighten everything, I can remove the sticks and it's gonna be in the same spot. And there's also one more stick that I have to right here underneath here where the hanger is i pretty much put a spacer one inch spacer piece of wood between the hanger and the little shield panel shield plate that way i'm going to leave it all here until i finish the whole exhaust tighten everything up that way there's going to be nothing hitting against anything and then also another thing i'm going to have to uh, rotate this clamp because if it's right here it's going to be hitting against the um, uh, the frame and the shield right here so I'm gonna go ahead and rotate it so the bolt will be right there plus there's a hole right here so it's not gonna be in the way at all so this would be perfect now I'm gonna go ahead readjust everything tight in the whole exhaust and then we'll show you the final result and then of course start it up all right let's go All right, so the last thing is left. Just do the, the section over here, this part. It's still not secured. I'm gonna adjust it the way I like it. And then the exhaust tip. I think uh, that's kind of where I want it. I hate it when the exhaust tips are way out here. Looks like a tutu train. I think I maybe prefer it right here. So yeah, I'm gonna finalize this how I like it I'm not gonna cut the pipe inside yet I'm gonna leave it this way for now just in case uh, just just till I figure out exactly where I want the tip to be and then I'm gonna draw a line around it and then about two inches outward I'm gonna cut that section out but for now I think that's where I sort of want it so let's finish up Aligning this section right here in the back, tighten that up, clean up our tools, and start this girl up. Can't wait, I'm excited. I think she's gonna sound like a beast. All right, let's finish this up.
All right, guys. So there we have it, five inch exhaust, straight pipe, no cats, no muffler. I, I, I absolutely love it. I, I don't know, I'm, I'm in love now. Now I can't do any kind, of, any kind of MPG tests or anything. I'm just gonna smack it through the gears and I'm gonna enjoy the sound. So guys, check out 1023diesel.com. Check out their Instagram, 1023diesel. Dusty will help you out with any kind of performance mods or exhaust intakes, whatever you need. Uh, also the hydro tune, he does all that. He does the custom tunes, blah, 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 all the good stuff. So whatever you need for your diesel uh, trucks, let him know. He's gonna hook you up, he's gonna work with you. He's gonna let you know exactly what you need, uh, what kind of gains or whatever you're looking for. He can work with you and set up a custom tunes or anything like that that you need. Maybe I should have went with a slightly bigger tip. I think that's a, that, I think that's a six inch. I should have went maybe like a seven or eight. But it is what it is. We don't want to look too obnoxious. I think it still looks really good. Still everything, still the exhaust is in place. Nothing's falling off. But yeah, after I drive the truck for a little bit, I'm gonna test all the clamps, uh, retighten everything, downpipe, all that, just to make sure everything's uh, lined up. I removed all the sticks, all the little spacers that I used. So nothing is rattling, nothing is hitting so far, uh, but it's good to test after driving for quite a bit. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. The sound, something I've been waiting for for a long time. So I'm glad I took my time to do it. I'm working late today, later than usual, around 9 p.m. So I was able to get this done before work. So now I'm gonna go wash up eat something and go to work so guys thanks for watching if you're new please subscribe hit the like button hit the comments and we'll see you in the next one see ya